Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make infinite reflective mirror and for that I will be using the camera function and in that you will be asked to allow the camera and the camera will uh, also take the sound and so mic will also be engaged in that so let's start so to start with the first thing I need to do in the camera function is I will be using the 3, uh, 3D function of the P5DS web editor. So for that, to activate the canvas to 3D, I will be using the FabGL. So I will add the parameter of FabGL in the create canvas. And then I'm going to use a plane to show you that how the uh, WebGL uh, converts a 2D ca uh, canvas into a 3D canvas. So let's make it 50 by 50 plane. And you can see the normal 2D canvas has a origin at top left hand corner, but in WebGL, the uh, origin changes into the middle. So it comes in the middle, everything appears in the middle. So now the next thing we have to do is to make multiple planes like these. So for making the multiple planes, the first thing I need to do is I need to put this one inside push and pop. That will stop it from affecting the other planes. So I will copy this and this plane is the smallest one so I need bigger planes to be made first as well so I will use that and I will be making multiple planes like these so three four five five I think is now and let's now see that planes are 400 400 and this is 300 300 200 100 and 15 50 or let's reduce this to 30 and 30 because 50 and 50 will not appear as good as the others so now you can see they are all appearing but I don't want any uh, strokes around that so I will say no stroke that will make the lines disappear as well as you will not be able to see your planes as well so let's say no stroke And you will see now you cannot see anything but you don't have to worry at this point so now the next bit which is the camera so for that I will make a camera variable and then I will use this variable to call create capture it doesn't take any parameters at this moment and I will use cam.hide because I don't want an additional camera picture appearing under my canvas so that will stop that and now I'm going to use how I will use the camera to appear on these planes so I'm going to use the texture to do that so when I do the inside the texture, I will give the parameter of cam in all of them. This will all go inside the push and pop. And now you can see the texture appearing. Uh, on the plane and the 
it will be the detector will be the camera and the camera sensor takes the sound so if I talk while I'm showing you this I will not be able to talk properly because it will be uh, you will be hearing uh, two or three sounds in one go so I will be quiet and you can see the result yourself So now I have stopped the video so that uh, we can make some more changes in that. So you can see that we have, we can, we have multiple planes and uh, it appears like multiple reflective surfaces. And if I, if you want to make it more intriguing, nicer, so what I will suggest that let's add some rotation to it. So every uh, plane seems to be rotated a bit so when you see it appears to be in a spiral pattern so let's say rotate and I will be rotating in the Z because X and Y will rotate it in uh, a different way which will not be the way we, we want it so if you want to try, you can try and see. Maybe you like the effect. So quarter pi, I will move, and I will see that multiply by, and let's see. We will be using uh, eight to start with because I want my first uh, plane to be straight and the rest of it to be a little bit rotated. So again, inside the push and pop, we are going to change just the rotation quarter pi times. Now this time, I'm going to say it's seven. Same goes here. Now six. Same goes here. Five. Sorry, five. And the last one. You can see that I started from an even number and it ended at an even number as well. So let's see what result we will get if you do that. And uh, we can make more of these as well if you want. So let's try that as well. That might give a more nicer effect. So it will be 350. 350. So something starting from 400, then it's going to a little bit less, and then a little bit less, and then a little bit less. Slowly, slowly, it's decreasing. So that after seven is 6.5, and this is 250 and 250. The same way we will do with the 100 one also. So we are just adding the plane so more of the mirror effect will come. So that will be 5.5. And the last one is 5 and then 4. They are very small so we will not be disturbing that. Okay. Well, we can do a little bit 4.5, but let's, let's leave it. It's too small. Okay, now I'm going to be very quiet and you're going to see the effect.
So as you can see, the spiral effect is appearing very nicely on it and you can see infinite mirror which is all the way to the smallest of the uh, reflection you can see on it and you can play around with that and see that what else you can make out of it so try this out hope you like it uh, i'm going to play this one more time and bye for now thanks for watching